Welcome back, everybody, to this rainy day in Minecraft. I'll be your host, Mr. J. Today I figured I'd be a little festive and I'd be a snow person. So I'd be like, hey, how are we doing, kids? Today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about something special. We're going to talk about perimeter and we're going to talk about area. Now, both of them are totally different concepts, but they go together really nicely, especially when we're using Minecraft. So without further ado, let's start learning about perimeter and area. Here we go. All right. So what is perimeter, you ask? Perimeter is the distance around a figure. Take a look at this potted plant here, and it's on a square, okay? Well, I want to find the perimeter around the square. So what I need to do is I need to add all of the sides of the square, all right? Because remember, take a look at our signs here. You're doing great with your reading. Perimeter is the distance around a figure. A great example of perimeter would be a fence. To find perimeter using math, all you have to do is add all sides. And here's a cool math formula, perimeter, big P equals add all sides. Okay, so here's a potted plant and it's on an iron block, right? So I want to add all of the sides. So here's a side, there's one side. Here's a side, here's another side, there's two sides. There's three sides, there's a third side, and then here's your fourth side. So there are four sides. Now, here's the deal. In Minecraft, all the blocks that we place into the ground or above it, all right, all the sides of the blocks in Minecraft are one meter in length. One meter is pretty big, okay? It's almost, it's a little bit bigger than three feet, okay? One meter, so it's pretty big. So take a look at this square that's in the ground of this iron block. We want to find the perimeter. How do we find perimeter? Yes, add all sides. Now, here's a cool thing that I do, all right? I use like birch trap doors and I use dark oak trap doors, dark oak trap doors to help me build a fence around the square so it's easier to count. Take a look at what I'm going to do here. All right. So now watch. Oh, pretty tricky, huh? Mr. J is pretty tricky. I got a lot of tricks in my bag. All right, take a look. I've kind of like built a small little mini fence around my square. All right, look at that. One, two, three, four. Pretty cool, huh? That's four meters, okay? So I have a four meter kind of fence. So pretend these trap doors, when they're up in this upright position, is like a fence, right? If I wanted to, I could probably put a chicken in there and I could hang out in there. All right. So that's perimeter, the distance around a shape, the distance around a two dimensional figure. Pretty cool, huh? Now, perimeter, like we said, think about fences. You put one in your backyard, keep your dog in, an invisible fence. Still need to know perimeter to keep your dog inside your yard. All right. Well, your dog wants to run around in a big space. So the perimeter, everything that's inside that perimeter, is called area. So now let's transition. We're going to learn another concept now. Area measures the space inside a shape. Okay? The space inside a shape. In Minecraft, each grid square is one square meter. All right, take a look at this iron block right here. It's in the ground. This iron block is one square. Does everybody agree you see one square there? Yeah? Thumbs up. I love it. That's one square meter. I'll tell you why, because the distance from here to here is a meter. The distance from here to here is a meter. 
the distance from here to here is a meter and the distance from here to here is a meter. And when they all connect, I make one square meter. So if I wanted to dance right here and stand on it, I'm standing inside one square meter. All right. Now, area is the space inside the fence, inside the perimeter. OK, when we talk about area, we always need to say the word square because we're going to count how many squares are inside a shape that we build with a fence around it. OK, so take a look here. What is the area of the iron blocks? Take a look at these iron blocks. They're all smushed together. What's the area? How big is my dance floor? How many squares do you see? I heard four. That's right. I see four squares. So I see four square meters. All right. All right. I like to think of area as the space on a dance floor or the floor space you have when arranging furniture in your Minecraft house. Remember, area is always measured using square units. In Minecraft, we always use square meters when we're talking about area the space inside a perimeter, inside a fence, or interlocking trapdoors, or even blocks that we place around for walls for our house. All right, still raining, and there's my chicken. He's like, hey, I want to hang out inside one of the, your fences. I'm like, okay, we'll check it out. Now remember, I like to use um, trap doors to do perimeter. All right, so here's the area, right? I'll show you how they go hand in hand. I'm going to place trap doors to show you the perimeter around my four square meters. Right, I'm building my fence. My fence is the perimeter. My fence is the perimeter, the distance around. So look, I like to use different colors because it's easier to count. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The perimeter that I've just built is eight meters. Okay. The space inside my fence that I get to play or dance or put my dog is one, two, three, four. Four squares. You see them? Four square meters. See the difference? My perimeter is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my perimeter is eight meters. The area inside that I get to play in, that's only four square meters. They hang out together, perimeter and area. They go hand in hand. They go side by side. They're like brother and sister. They're always living in the same house, pretty much. But you need a perimeter set in order for you to be able to find the area inside that you're going to hang out in or play in. All right? The area of this is four square meters. Pretty cool. All right, let's apply what you've just learned. Perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional shape. So take a look at the square, the iron block. What's the perimeter around this square? Let's count. you get? You should have got four meters. Let's check your answer. Perimeter. Big P equals add all sides. 
perimeter equals 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Perimeter equals 4 meters. What we just did was did a number chain. We're used to doing number partners and then a number chain with three numbers. But now we've added one more because we're talking right now about a square. We'll be focusing on squares in this session. All right. In my next session, we'll talk about rectangles. We do the same thing, just the numbers will change. All right. Very cool. Let's take a look at this example. Oof, look at this. Area is the floor space in square units inside a given perimeter. So tell me, how many iron blocks do you see? Just iron blocks. Don't look at the trap doors because the trap doors are going to give me my perimeter. How many iron blocks do you see? You'll just need to count them. Nice job. I heard nine and then I heard you say square. How do we label it in Minecraft? Meters. I see nine square meters. And look, the weather agrees with you as well. Sunny times are here again. All right, let's do the perimeter. Count the perimeter, the distance around our nine square meters. Ready? Start counting. you get? That's right. The distance around the perimeter is 12 meters. Our area, our dance floor inside the perimeter is 9 square meters. And we'll check our answers over here. Perimeter. Take a look at our, our addition facts. Add all sides. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. That's the distance around our 9 square meters gave us a perimeter of 12 meters. Now remember, perimeter means add all the lengths of each side. And that's exactly what we did. And then remember, area, in order to find area, you count the squares that are inside the perimeter, inside the fence. So the area for our, sh our um, square here is 9 square meters. Well, oof, I hope you had fun today. I sure did. And I love learning about perimeter and area. And now that we've got a good basic kind of plan, we can do a lot of fun things when we're creating things in Minecraft. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you next time.